Not too long from this point in time, crypto will be the talk of the town again and we will be printing money. Now, most people don't believe it. And that's actually the best part. Let me tell you why. Let's go. Welcome back to another episode of Philprints, your one and only stop for crypto, finance and trading. Long time no see, I think I published my last video around a month ago, actually a little bit more. But since then, in the end, we only were moving sideways again. But if you ask most of the people, they were a hell of a lot scared during these two dips. You can call these actually less one, most importantly, a big capitulation event. I would even say pretty similar to the COVID crash, not that big. It's not a minus 50, 60% dump, and it's not happened around or throughout all of the markets. It was mainly here in crypto, mainly in Bitcoin, and even more, it's affected altcoins because these went down from the top like minus 17, 80% was a hell of a bloodbath. Now, the cool thing is, I think that we are in for a treat not too long from this point in time, we will see crypto pumping again. And this time around, it'll be big, really big. So you could say this is basically the comeback for crypto. And therefore, I am making a comeback here as well. Because I really think we need to, to monitor the market really closely now. So when I did my last video, this was pretty much exactly at this point here. So during this first thump and everyone was like extremely bearish. People were insufferable. Big accounts, small accounts, everyone was calling for a big, big thump to like 40k and even below. People were actually thinking this is the start of a bear market. So the people were really losing faith. But here on my channel, I told you constantly that this is to a very, very high degree of certainty, not the end of the bull market and actually just shakeout. And as you can see, this is exactly what this has been. So my last two videos before this video were actually showing you a multitude of reasons why this is just a shakeout. Go ahead and watch these videos because they are important to this point in time still and give you a clue about the state of the cycle we're in. I won't repeat all of the information I covered in these two videos because both of them combined are like uh, 25 minutes long or, or actually more. But what I did tell you in both of these videos is, and actually way before that, over and over again for months, is that we will likely have a summer pause. And this is exactly what turned out to happen. What does a summer pause mean? Basically, this means sideways action more or less till like September, beginning, mid, end of September, some point in September, where we will start another rally. And not just another rally. Well, this is the actual bull market rally everyone is waiting for every four years. All right. So what specifically happened since then? So at this point in time, we've had the attempted assassination on Donald Trump. And as the news were, he just took a little hit on his ear and survived this assassination attempt. We started this recovery rally here. So did Donald Trump save crypto here? Well, not really. Maybe this pump would have been a little more shallow or we would have moved here more sideways. But in the end, this is what happened and what caused this bigger rally to nearly, well, pretty much the top range, not, not, not near all time highs, but was pretty decent. From this point on, we had the launch of the Ethereum ETFs. So these started to trade on the markets. And therefore, it was actually pretty normal to have another sell the news event nothing too special. I also told you about that in my Telegram group, Twitter account as well. So do make sure to follow me there because throughout the whole like 30 plus days, I didn't post a video here on YouTube. I updated you there for free as well about my opinion of these moves. And therefore, if you want to get the whole free alpha, 
Well, you gotta follow me there as well because you're quite easily missing out if you don't. And if you want to do that, here is my Twitter account and on the left down there, you can find my Telegram group. And if you're lazy, don't want to type it in in my description down below. There are links as well. Now, as you can see, we've got the selling news event, but not only that, we've got a multitude of very, very bearish news and narratives coming into place alongside it. And therefore, we got a little bit of an exaggeration to the downside and a big wick here, a big capitulation event. I would actually compare this to to the COVID crash a little. Well, obviously not to the extent we had in March 2020. We also don't have like COVID or something, but we've had a big, big fear coming out of the stock markets, especially from the Japanese stock markets. Because in Japan, we've had the biggest crash for Japanese stocks since the Black Monday of 1987. And this is actually quite a banger. And not only there, also in Mostly the tech stocks actually, so the S&P 500 wasn't hit that hard, but the Nasdaq took a little more of a hit. And as you can see, on August 2nd, we've got over $2.9 trillion that have been wiped out from the major indices and stocks. And this made for the worst day for stocks since March 16th, 2020, which is the COVID crash, as I told you. Then on August 3rd, as you can see here, I posted a chart image here on my Twitter account and I told you bottom for Bitcoin might be in here but the CME gap is open till around 58k so we might see a wick down there next week if upwards momentum is not sufficient and as you can see this is exactly what's happened it turned out to be a little bigger because of all the fear induced selling and therefore as you can see at I was posting this here and we went into the CME gap had a big flush and then went higher very, very fast. And I actually told you then on August 5th, feels like the beginning of capitulation. And I also told you, remember March 2020, same vibes. And what I meant with vibes, this is actually the same feeling I had in my gut when I compare this to back then in March 2020. And here for reference, March 5th, this was exactly during this big crash. Not only that, in order to show you how precisely I timed this, timed, I mean, the feeling I've had and how accurately it turned out to be, this post was at 4.14 a.m. And if we look at the chart here, this is the big crash on the four hour time frame. As you can see, 4.14, this was basically during this point in time, so around here, right before the last wick to the downside happened, a couple of hours later, we were already starting to recover. So just by following me on Twitter and reading some of my posts, you are getting a hell of a lot of alpha, actually way more than with the bigger accounts. I mean, my Twitter account is like, 343 followers and my YouTube channel has at this very moment, I think like, yeah, 3,770 subscribers. This is pretty small still, but as you can see, the information you're getting are way, way more valuable. And I really appreciate every one of you that is on board with me at this very point before this channel blows up. Here as well, in the last video, before this video, you can see I pulled up some fractals. All of them point at September for the continuation of this rally or the real start of the bull market. And I will actually show you another fractal or the update of a fractal that is very, very interesting. So I just remember there's actually quite a lot of things that I want to show you on the chart. But the first one is we pull up, we basically take the candles from the last cycle from, from bottom to top. And if we align that here, bottom to bottom, as you can see, then at this point in time, we are right here. Let me align that here. 
So we are during this sideways boring phase right before the start of the next big parabola. And this is actually where the people lose hope. Or they basically already have lost hope during these capitulation events, the last two, especially the, the last one here. And now we are heading into a very, very boring phase. So first we shake the people out and then we bore them out. And all of the people that are left here, these are the real ones. These are the people who know what's going on. And if you want to be one of them, you should be subscribed to my channel because you are getting the real information here. And not just useless stuff that the majority is talking about anyways. Because you have to know crypto is a zero-sum game. Not only crypto, all of the markets, stocks, indices, commodities, it doesn't matter. And in a zero-sum game, you just have a redistribution of funds and not the creation of money or the printing of money itself. Yes, if money is printed, it'll flow to an extent into the stock markets and crypto and so on. But in the end, when the markets turn, the winner takes it all and the people that are getting in too late are basically the exit liquidity and these are the ones that are taking the loss. So if at this point in time you haven't changed anything about your portfolio, this is very good. If you've added more to your portfolio during these two capitulation events, then this is very, very, very good. If you panic sold during these dips, this is, well, not so good, but you are in luck. The bull market is not over. You have time to make it back. And if you're completely new to crypto at this point in time, this is very, very good for you because you found my channel and can learn the real stuff before it is too late. Because on this channel, I've already talked about this most likely turning out to be a sideways range at like here at this point, because it's very, very usual for crypto to have a summer pause from like May to July, approximately for the last 10 years. And as you can see, this is pretty much what happened. There is no bear market. There is no 1929 style crash. We are just heading sideways, calm down. Now, don't get me wrong. Is there a 100% certainty that we will have a big, big bull market here? Well, no, this is not how the stock markets work. This is not how crypto works. We're dealing with data. We're dealing with statistics. And these are all telling us this looks very good. But still, this is not a certainty. This is not a 100% hitter. If you want 100% certainties, then I have to encourage you to visit your most trusted fortune teller because I don't specialize in fortune telling, unfortunately. So next thing I want to show you here, and this is also very, very interesting. Let me clear up the chart a little bit and let's change to the weekly chart. Here you can see that we pulled back to the blue moving average on the weekly chart perfectly with this week. The first time for like, well, since September 23, so nearly a year, where we were building a base here on the gold moving average. And if we compare that to prior cycles, you can see during the big bull market of 2020 and 2021, we've had this pullback in the middle of the bear market, also here to the blue moving average. And during the echo bubble 2019, also went exactly here to the blue moving average for the first time in a long time. So historically, this has been a perfect base for upwards continuation. If we are not looking here at the COVID crash, of course, this is a special event, Black Swan event. This is not comparable. So this is one more bullish data point on our list. And as you can see here, also my footprint reversal bands indicator, basically the levels it printed are very well respected here. We didn't close below them. As you can see here, here we close exactly at the level, pumped up from it, went down below, wicked below it on the weekly chart, but didn't close below it. Then if we head over to the monthly chart, you can see 
this out of a week during this capitulation event. This looks very, very beautiful, actually. The last time we've had a week like that was here. So this was in March 23, and as you can see, had a big, nice rally after it. Then what I want to show you as well, many people thought of this price action here and compared it to the 2019 Echo Bubble. And actually, <laughs> it is actually quite similar. If we line this up here, you can see that, and I've actually compared this in my last video where we were at this point here as well. And you can see how perfectly this lines up. So sideways, up, down, down, then here, we were like at this bottom where I made my video, as I said, and then back then in 2019, this was the Xi pump. So caused by or caused by President Xi of China, who was allowing crypto after he banned it. And quite interestingly, in 2024, this time around, this pump happened to be caused by former President Trump. So this basically is the president pump in both of these scenarios and then we went down to the blue moving average on the weekly in both of these scenarios as well but we've recovered the only difference is we've recovered way faster here but still from a time perspective you can see we started to really pump up from here in september once again so yes from a timing perspective this is 2019 echo bubble all over again but from a timing perspective of the whole cycle, we are, as I told you, basically here at this point in time, right before a big, big parabola. Then, one of the actually most important data points that are also very, very bullish is the buy signal of the hash ribbons. And this is happening when the minor capitulation is ending. And the best thing of all is this indicator basically has a nearly 100% hit rate, which in and of itself is like very, very special. What's very important to mention here is that these buy signals are mid to long-term signals. These are not short-term signals because you can see here, this buy signal happened right before this dump, but fueled this pump. And then once again here, our latest buy signal happened right before this dump and potentially fuels the next big leg up here. And then again, we've had a signal here, fuel this pump, signal here. This is maybe a signal that didn't really work out because we've dumped further here, but you could say this made for the bear market bottom here. So if you want to, don't look at the buy signals during a bear market and you'll be fine. Then here again, this buy signal right before this big rally, this buy signal right before this big rally, and so on and so forth. You can see this is a very, very powerful signal. You should know that if you are in crypto. Now, what's very, very important as well is the sentiment. And while we are at nearly 60k for Bitcoin, so more or less the mid-range of this humongous range, we are having a fearful sentiment Greed 31. If we have a look at the fear and greed index over time for crypto, we are at historical lows here. And during this capitulation event, we went to like 20. This is the same as in November 2022. In November 2022, this is at this point. During this big flash crash, during the FTX insolvency, during the formation of the bear market bot. This is the sentiment we've had during this crash and the sentiment we are having right now, this is the sentiment we've had during this sideways range formation of a bear market bottom. This is crazy to think about. We are at 60K with a fearful, very, very fearful sentiment. People are tuning out of crypto People sold all of their portfolios because altcoins went down like 70-80% during this flash crash. 
and they don't want to fumble around with crypto anymore. But if you zoom out, pretty much nothing happens. We are at 60K. And this is exactly why crypto and financial markets in general are not a free lunch. You have to know what you're doing. You, you, you really have to. Because during these times where, you, where the price is dipping and everybody was like super greedy and super bullish and loading up the portfolios with their whole net worth, when shit hits the fan and your portfolio is like half in a couple of days, then your conviction is tested. And also your ability to build a real portfolio and most importantly, know how to size this portfolio, how much of a percentage it should be uh, measure it against your whole net worth. And therefore, if you don't know what you're doing, you will be shaken out during these events. And these events are exactly there to do that. Because as I told you, it's not a zero sum game. The more people we shake out during these times, the more cheap crypto the experienced marketplace can scoop up and sell it to you at very, very high prices when you come back into the markets as exit liquidity. There they will take all of your money again, go to the Bahamas or something, and you will watch your portfolio going down and down and down. And once again, this won't happen to you if you follow along here on this channel. You are at the right address. You will learn how to avoid that and take your sweet, sweet bull market gains with you. And also know when people are talking bullshit, talking about new all-time highs at range highs and talking about the new bear market and range lows. This is not what we were anticipating. We knew about this summer pause to happen before it happened. Now, before I will end this video, I will show you one or two more very, very, very interesting things. Uh, the first one being the Bitcoin dominance, because this shows us potentially when the old season will start. And as you can see, there is great news because we finally officially hit the trend line right here on the weekly time frame. This tells us the old season is just around the corner. If the last two cycles are of any indication, because the last two times we've hit this trend line here. This is exactly where the old season started here in 2017. Here, you see December 20, January 2021, exactly the starting point of the last cycle's old season. And right here, this is exactly the point in time we are in right now for this cycle. And not only that, this, this scribble here, I did that like at this point in time. So like April, May, 2024, see how this turned out. I drew like this, this cup here. And the exact point where we hit the trend line is exactly where I drew it. Well, that's what I call timing. And if you don't believe it, you can actually go back on my YouTube channel and look at the videos back then. I had this drawing in there. So if we take all of this data into consideration, you can see it looks actually very, 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 very good. Once again, I hope you used the last month or so, the last two capitulation events to load up more, to enjoy summer, not be bothered by all of this pump and dump action and be ready for the real action now. Also, as you can see, I am not in my usual setup. So therefore I am recording this with my onboard MacBook webcam here and microphone. I hope the quality is sufficient. And also you are seeing I'm using kind of a new overlay, which I intended to use for live streams down the road. But for these kind of scenarios where I'm not in my setup, I think this is also pretty nice. Please let me know down in the comment section if you like this kind of setup. This actually, if I think about it, this actually allows me to do more spontaneous videos more often. We'll just talk about my two cents of the markets right now and what I am intending to do myself. With that said, there will be, of course, more videos coming on my channel from this point on once again, because together here on this channel, we will create generational wealth during this bull cycle period in real time. So do subscribe if you haven't already stay ahead of the curve. Let's crush the markets together. See you soon. This was for Prince for you. Bye.